all praise to the most. I give me your song, 119.60. I don't seen you before, bro. I seen you somewhere downtown, Bill Street. I don't seen you so, somewhere. No, I don't think so. I don't live here, bro. You don't live here? No, I'm Chattanooga. How long have you been hearing the word? About a year and a half. What take you so long, man? Ain't no, Ain't no camera check, so you come down here to keep the commandments. All praise to the Most High. That's right. Give me that. Uh, don't read that. One nineteen and sixty. This is the Book of Psalms, chapter one nineteen and verse sixty. I made haste and delayed not. Scripture says I made haste. All praise to the Most High. We do got a camp in Chattanooga, Chattanooga though, right? Yeah, we got brothers out there. They go to they go to Nashville to go to camp. See what I'm saying? So you just 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 try to keep in touch. You you out here now or you? Here to Tuesday. Okay, okay. I'm going to make sure you get some numbers, though. Read that again. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. That's what you just showed. You made haste to do what the Most High God said do. That's real repentance. So by you knowing this long, though, it could have been something you still did. Give me that uh, Nehemiah 13 and 3. You still could have still could have started observing the laws by keeping the fringes on your clothes. Do you, you got your fringes on? All oh, praise to the most high. Yes, hey, bro, let your light shine. Yes, let your light shine. What, what, what good is it for it to be under under a bushel? That's right. You know what I'm saying? Don't okay. dim that light. Our people need to know. That's right. Our people need to know. Nehemiah 13 and 3. So that, so that repentance, that's beautiful. That's right. So take that everywhere you go. Anytime you see somebody reading the Bible, take your head off. They might not know what they're talking about, but those are the words of God. Take your head off. And then show somebody, look, bro, in the Bible said you're supposed to take your head off. Don't have your head covered. And if it's a woman out there, you need to tell her, excuse me, sister, but you need to cover your head. You know what I'm saying? All right, praise for that thing. Nehemiah 13 and 3. This is the book of Nehemiah, chapter 13, and verse 3. Now it came to pass, when they had heard the law, that they separated from Israel all the mixed multitude. So, read that again from the top. Now it came to pass, when they had heard the law. When they did what? They had heard the law. So, it came to pass when they heard the law. That they separated from Israel all the mixed multitude. So they delayed not and made haste. All praise to the Most High God. We got brothers and sisters who got the spirit on them to make haste. That's, right. That's a beautiful thing in Revelation 22, 14. That's a beautiful thing. Because we, we want the kingdom, right? That's what you're trying to get, the kingdom of God. Yes, sir. That's what you've been observing for this year and, year and so. That you want the kingdom. So we, we know that the kingdom is, is, is for us, Israel. You got any questions? Yeah, all yeah, yeah. Praise. All praise, all praises. We're going to make sure you get in contact with some of them brothers. Read what you got. Revelation chapter 22 and verse 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments. So it's a blessing for you to have them fringes on. That's right. That's a straight up blessing. When the other nations see that thing, it's considered an ornament. It's considered that you wit, that you're wise. Read. They that, they that may have right to the tree of life. That's for this forever. That's dominion. That's, that's everlasting life right there. Read. And may enter through the gates into the city. Read from the top of you. Blessed are they that do his commandments, uh -huh. that they may have right to the tree of life, uh -huh. and may enter through the gates into the city. Uh -huh. For without are dogs. So we know for without a dog, and we don't want to be that. Because we're going to be treated just like that if we don't keep the commandments of God. And all praise to the Most High. Like the brother says, you has your dignity on. You know what I'm saying? I've seen that. But always, I don't care where you in, let them fringes show. That's right. Sometimes you got to be, like the scriptures say, uh, wise as a serpent. You know, harmless as a dove. So sometimes you got to move in wisdom. But 
never, ever, ever make a decision to cover up your fringes on a, on a regular day basis. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's forever. Let them things show because our people need to see. If somebody may, may have a question about it, bro, what's that going on with your shirt? You know what I'm saying? You can, you can edify that brother, that sister. You know what I'm saying? Give me your Deuteronomy 4 and 6. Deuteronomy 4 and 6. That's a beautiful thing that our people show repentance. We keep the commandments. That's an ornament on our head. Right off top. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 6. Keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom. So keeping these commandments is our wisdom. Read. And your understanding in the sight of the nations. In the sight of who? The nations. In the sight of these heathens out here. That's right. Just being straight up and honest. In the sight of these other nations out here, that's our wisdom. For us keeping the commandment, they see you, oh, that brother ain't like the rest of them. That's right. There's something different about him. That's right. What's different? He keeping the commandments. The most high already uh, uh, ordered you to the elect. You know what I'm saying? So I'll pray to the most high. You congregate with us tomorrow, huh? Ten twenty five. All, all praise to the Most High. Cause see, what what you what you seeking is what you seeking is you seeking a brotherhood. That's what you seeking. Cause we gotta be. You you got the park for her. Okay, read. There's the book of Hebrews, chapter ten and verse twenty five. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. As the matter of some is. So we're not to forsake the assembling of ourselves together. As some brothers and sisters choose to do. Some brothers and sisters choose to sit at home and watch watch videos. We meet them all the time. I met a sister not too long ago said she watched it at the house. She feel like our Sabbath day room, so she watched the classes at home. I asked the sister, I said, so how you keep the Sabbath? She said, I just don't because I don't think y'all Sabbath right. This sister is choosing to break the commandments of God. Bring it out. Not, not seeking to get the edification. Read that again. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the matter of some is, uh -huh. but exhorting one another and so much the more as ye see the day approaching. So and so much more you because you see the day approaching. You see the promises coming forth. You see Israel gathering again. So now you're, you're seeking to get a brotherhood. You're seeking to exhort. Give me that, give me that uh, Nehemiah. Was that two and one? I mean, uh, is Zephaniah two and one? Yeah. Yeah. Give me that. Give me that. That's a beautiful thing, bro. Keep that showing because see, these people passing by need to see. That's right. These people passing by need to see. I mean, you got that. That's nicely put together, too, bro. Nicely put together. Read. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2 and verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Ye gather together, O nation not desire. So we're, we're together, together, O nation not desire. We should gather ourselves together, especially on the high holy days. On, right. on the most high God said, give us a rock 23 and 13, 23 and 19. We're to, we're to gather ourselves together. We're to, we're to uh, uh, uh. Be a community amongst each other. Right, right. We should always be amongst uh, brothers and sisters with the same mindset. Because if not, you'll fall off. Like you said, you've been trying, but it's hard by yourself. That's what it is. You ain't got brothers and sisters around you with the same mind. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 37, verse 12. But be continually with a godly man. You're supposed to be continually with a godly man. Read. Who thou knowest to keep the commandments. You know to keep the commandments. Being with family members who don't keep the commandments, you're going to end up falling off. Because they're they not seeking to do God's will. That's right. You know, they thinking about all this worldly stuff going on. The next basketball game being played. The next club that's about to be popping. You know what I'm saying? The, best, the next bottle they about to pop. The next female on the list. You know what I'm saying? It's so many, it's so many ways that, that grab us these days. 
that, that take us out of the way of the most high straight in the scene. It's set up like that. It's especially in Babylon the Great. They want the children of Israel to fall into sin so they can stay above us. Is that, was that it on that? Read. Commandments of the Lord, whose mind is according to thy mind, and will sorrow with thee. And will sorrow with thee. If thou shalt miscarry. If thou shalt miscarry. If, thou, if, if you shall slip up. So you want somebody who's who, who going to say, hold on, bro. Hold on, wait a minute, bro. Let's, let's, let's not do that. Let, let's do something else. Because they finna go that way. Let's go this way. We know what they going into. Let's get over here, man. Let's study a little bit. Let's look at a few classes. Let's get some more edification. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Give me a... Let me do the running me. 28. Do the running me 28 and... 28. 28, 28. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 28. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall smite thee with madness uh -huh. and blindness uh -huh. and astonishment of Hold on, he should do what? Smite thee with madness uh -huh. and blindness. And blindness. Our people been smitten with blindness, That's man. Right. Our, those family members that you probably been saying something to that can't, just can't seem to see it, they've been smitten with blindness. Right. You know what I'm saying? They are blind to the most high God's word right now. And you, you trying to open their eyes. We go through the same thing. They blind right now, read. And astonishment of heart. And thou shalt grow at noonday, and the blind groweth in darkness. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. And we should not, and they should not prosper in their ways. So, you know, it, 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 it's going to seem like, you know, some of them doing well. Some of them doing fine, but it, there's no prosper in that thing. Look at, our, look at uh, Oprah Winfrey. I'm going to use her for an example. Oprah Winfrey. Uh, Jay-Z, look at them. They got plenty of money. But are their people prospering? They are their household. Jay-Z label. But us as a nation, it ain't, it ain't prospering. It, it, it's, it's, it, it's for no use of us out here. That's right. Like, we, we don't get nothing of that. That's right. How are he helping us? All the money that our people can get, they can put it together, man. They can really form a real big union and really help us as a people. That's right. But it, ain't, it don't prosper because they're blind. They've been blinded. Look at that Romans uh, 13 and 8. Look at Romans 13 and 8. They've been blinded up. They've been blinded. This money done blinded them. Fame done blinded them. They think they the white man now. Bring it out. Oprah goes somewhere and thinks she's going to be treated like a queen. They tell her to get out of our store. You know what I'm saying? You can never rise above your people's state. I don't care how much money you got. You can never rise above your people's state. This is Book of Romans, chapter 13 and verse 8. Oh, no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth one an another hath fulfilled the law. All them brothers got to do is show love to them. All they got to do is love them. Give me your uh, 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 first John 5 and 2. All they got to do is really love us. They don't know what love is. What they say is, what they say is, is that I'm showing love to my brother, you know what I'm saying? I'm putting him on my label. I love him. That ain't love. The scriptures say, love one another, you have for surely fulfilled the law. Read what you got. Five and two. This is the book of 1 John chapter 5 verse 2. By this, we know that we love the children of God. When we love God and keep his commandments. So we, we, know, we know that that brother would be loving though if he was to love God and keep the commandments. Why? Because he'll be really loving his brother. He'll be keeping he'll be keeping the high holidays, the feast days, the Sabbaths. You know what I'm saying? He'll, he'll take all his music off the shelf. All that crap about drugs, about uh, uh, big pimp and spinning cheese. He'll take all that off the shelf. Why? Because that's, that's leading our people into, into the worldly life. That's right. Into a worldly mindset. That's not love. Why? Because all those CDs, all those songs promote sin. 
and, and real love, when you really love your brother, you're keeping the commandments of God. So you wouldn't promote nothing different. So there would not be nothing, nothing prospering. There would not be nothing prospering out of these people. We got we to gotta get together amongst each other and build our nation back up. Joshua 1 and 8. Joshua 1 and 8. We got to get amongst each other and, and build amongst each other with like-minded brothers and sisters. Right. So you won't have to worry about your brother coming over your house and, and, and trying something with your wife. This brother right here stay right next door to me. I ain't worried about this brother with my wife. Why? Because I know this brother mind like my mind. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Right. You ain't got to worry about your child going over one of these brothers' house. Why? Because his wife or, or the brother who in the house mind like my mind. We want to we want to do everything to keep our kids away from sin That's and right. also bring them up and keep their minds on the right thing. That's right. Read what you got. And so ain't gonna be this scripture is gonna show you ain't gonna be no prosper of our people who in sin. This is how you become prosperous. Read. This is the book of Joshua, chapter one and verse eight. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. So we go. That's why we go over these scriptures with our children. We go with these scriptures daily. Daily, I'm walking with scriptures on my mind. Read. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night, and thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. So everything written in this book, we should observe to do according to it. Read. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. For then thou shalt do what? And then thou shalt make that way prosperous. Then JC and you know, Uncle Wilfred, they'll be prosperous then. Oh, they'll prosper. Why? Because they people will prosper. They ain't prospering by themselves. We ain't talking about her sisters and her cousins and everybody, all their family members who they done lend some money out to or gave some money to, 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 to get on their feet. No, because we still down as a nation of people. The African man come over here and get a place and they feel like that we are, uh, uh, what they call us, Elkatas? Cotton pickles. Cotton pickles. Elkatas. They still think we're, be we're beneath them, which we know they're not because God say we're not. But, but these other nations don't look at us like we're above them. No matter how much money any of our people got. And we know when they come over here, we don't see the African man on the basketball court. On the foot in the football field, we don't see the African man in movies, but they still feel like they better than us. We don't see the Arab man on the basketball court; they not be, they not better than us in nothing. It's just that we don't broke the laws of God, and that's how they feel about us because they know their ancestors had us in slavery. They know we've been in slavery over here, and still ain't re risen above yet. Read, and then. Thou shalt have good success. Then we're going to have good success. We come together keeping God's laws, statutes, and commandments. That's right. Really supporting each other in this truth. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org